first guest today is a terrifically talented young person. Uh, she's a musician, she's a judge on The X Factor, which is on Wednesdays and Thursdays on Fox. Take a look at that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Was that like you hold one pose for a long time? Well, kind 
of, I mean, I just knew the mantras and I just kind of did whatever my, um, my mentor oh. taught me. Um, Are you in therapy? I could give you some therapy now. I've got yeah. a fight. Look at that. Well, let's do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, but so I'm you the mug. I have the same one. Well, not the same one, but I have one just like it. And actually, mine's cooler because it's... Oh, 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 oh. Hold on up a little bit, Missy. <laughs> Two things. Nobody's mug is cooler than my mug. My mug's I got a gold tooth. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Also, this is from Albuquerque, like you. Yes, I was born there. You did your research. Yeah, sort of. Sort of? I thought you didn't give her ass ass. I told them, but I like you. Ah, thanks. Well, I do think you give a very positive message to young people. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you seem very serious about that. I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, I've done, I've done the whole partying thing. I've done the whole rehab thing. Um, and it's just, I'm... So we have already? Yes. Good for you. <laughs> I wish I'd done rehab. I didn't go to rehab until I was 29. In 1992. I was 18, so I had to start early. Wait a minute, have I? So I've been sober longer than you've been alive? <laughs> yes. You said that, not me. Wow. <laughs> I think it's time for a tuss for men then, isn't it? <laughs> That's good. Do you think because you were so successful so young that drives you into the... Into, into, partying or does that drive you into recovery? Does it help you think? I've always been a really motivated, driven, like fighter. So it's kind of like when, when I first got sober, I was like, oh, I'm going to show all of you. You think I can't get sober? Well, watch me. Yeah. And then now I've stuck to it because it's made my life so much better. And I, there's a lot of young people that look up to me and I just, there needs to be someone that stands out and says, it's not about, you know, Molly and partying and all that stuff. Right. You know. <laughs> that, was like, that was like one guy who's not a model and has never been to a party. <laughs> don't, no, hate, it, don't hate. Don't hate. No, I'm not hate. I don't hate on it. No, no. I'm I like, do know there. What's that? No. <laughs> Who was it? No, don't look. Please, okay, let's go. Okay. No, 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 don't. Okay. They get, they get weird, especially when they're cold. <laughs> Yeah, they get they get surly. Do you ever do you ever lose your patience? Because people I think feel very connected to you. The young people feel very connected to you, and they a lot of times perhaps feel they have a right to your attention at any point they want it. Do you ever yeah. feel uh, like leave me alone? Have you ever lost your temper with it? I I don't think I've lost my temper. I think what happens is I actually get anxiety attacks. Right. So um like at meet and greet sometimes if people like run up to hug me I like shut down because it's like really um. That's what it's like being Scottish. Oh, I'm Irish. Oh, yes, really? Yes. Lovato? I didn't know. No, 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 no. That's from, okay, so I'm, I have a lot of things. My ancestors got around. So okay. I am Irish. I am Native American. Right. I am, um, so many things. Portuguese. But Portuguese. Hispanic. Right. And I found out recently that I'm a little Jewish. I, I think. So I ended up in the right town. <laughs> any of that to him because he's a racist. What? Yeah. He's we'll not, chat later. He, he's not really, but it's just it's the worst thing I can think to call someone. <laughs> but he might be. I don't know. I don't talk to him much. Well, maybe that's why he's a uh -oh. all three of them. You're right. We'll be right back with Debbie Lovato. Um, well, a guy is still healing, um, just three Roman 
very, um, my, it means a lot to me because um, my dad, it was like his number, he was obsessed with Dale Earnhardt, and um, yeah, and he, he, not to bring like a doubt, but he passed away this summer, so I wanted to do something positive. And so when I get my first tattoo, this is my father there. Wow. Now I've got five of them. Yeah. Because my dad hated tattoos. <laughs> no, that was, it felt right. It oh was, my God. No, my dad always said, so I went even to him, I got this tattoo of the family crest after he died because I thought the Celtic paradox, you get a tattoo to remember a guy who hated tattoos. Well, I guess it, I guess it, it was. It makes more sense to my, me. My stepdad and my mom hate tattoos. Um, I say stepdad really loosely because he's, he's raised me my whole life. He's amazing. Right. Um, but they hate, hate tattoos, so um, I kind of, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, people always say, oh, the tattoos that look terrible when you're, like, 80. Yeah, I'm like, no. yeah, so am I. Yeah. You know. Well, there's that. There's that. And then you're like, I'm going to look 80 and really cool. I'm sorry. Did you swear there? Yes, sorry. That's okay. Do it again. You, I can say that? I you just can. Like, not only am I going to be 80 with tattoos, I'm going to look really cool. Fucking. Right. No one's cooler than you. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, you mean people without tattoos? I don't know, everybody's got tattoos now. I mean, it's a Badass Grandpa. It's That's who I want to be. We should really call and rename the show Badass Grandpa. I'm down. Yeah, it's good. I'm down. All right, we're out of time. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. a bummer. Well, you can hang out if you want. Well, I'll hang out. Maybe it's cold, so maybe not. Yeah. Like that throwback? <laughs> Did you just do finger pistols at me, young lady? Because let me tell you, I approve of you, but don't you go finger pistoling your way around here. That's what he said. Hey, now. All right. Debbie Lovato, everybody.